six minus one, a pail of air. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions, time and space. These are the stories of the future, adventures in which you live in a million could be years and a thousand may be worlds. But it's quite, pretty quiet in the mist, just sitting by the fire, staring into the like he does these days, and Ma was asleep. That's why it was so quiet. Ma was some pretty bad times when she just screams and screams and huddled back in, against the blanket. That lie in the nest, Sis is looking at herself in the mirror, hangs next to the bookshelf. I don't know what she finds to look at so long, but then she's a girl. She just looks at herself. Saturdays, when Pa puts a couple of extra lumps of coal a fire, we take a bar. She looks at herself in the mirror, and sometimes she cries or drops the book. A reading, I guess, that woke Ma. Book drops to the floor. Ma wakes. Huh? What? Pa, pick up the book. Pick up the book, bud. Bud, I'm sorry, Pa. Pa, Ma. It came back, hasn't it, Alfred? It came, it's come back. Pa, it was just Brad. He dropped his book. Ma, but it came back. It's out there now, isn't it? I feel a lot warmer. Pa, now Ethel. Ma, it's out, out there in the sky, just the way it always was. I knew. I know I, I had a dream, Alfred. Pa, I know, dear sis. Melt your mother's... Uh, melt your ma, mother a cup of water. Sis, I'm combing my hair, Pa. Sis, sis, all right. Ma, I've got to get up. I know it's there. There'll be crocuses and spring bulbs and daffodils. But what are daffodils, Ma? Ma, well, buddy, they're a, they're a flower. They're very pretty yellow. Oh, a very a tall green stalk. Oh, I want to go out. I want to take the children out. Pa, all right now, Ethel. Here's some water. Ma, Come on, children, we'll go out and get, can you complain with the sun, bud? Sure, Ma, sis. Here, drink the water, Ma. Ma, it's cold, Alfred. You wrap on the pipes and make the supper. Send up some, some more heat. Bud, what's a supper, Pa? Pa, it doesn't matter, bud. There ain't any more, any more. But, oh, sis. Ma, the pail's running low. Pa. Bud, you better get into, the, into your things and go out and get an extra pile of wear. Bud, there are a couple of pails behind them first, blankets. Pa, go on, get into your things. Ma weeps quietly. It isn't back, is it? Pa, sympathetic. No, it isn't. Ma, there's no sun in the sky. No sun, is there? Sis, no, nah, Ma. What was it like, the sun? Pa, sis, don't get your mast upset. Ma, the sun was yellow and so bright you couldn't look at it. Burning hot, it's so hot, we stretched it out into, in it. It made you feel warm all over, tingly warm, being so long since I've been that warm. Since I was warm last year on my birthday when Pa put all the extra coal on. Ma, crazy emotional. And then every morning it would come out of the east. Make the clouds all pink and yellow and the mist would rise from the ground and then slowly everything would glow warmer, warmer. And then it would be there into the sky, shining warm, weeps quietly. Pa, hurry up, bud. Bud, I'm almost, re- I'm almost ready, Pa. Ma, an outburst. I want, I want the sun. I want the sun back, Paul's quietly. Alfred, get me the sun. Pa, it's gone, Ethel. There's nothing I can do. Ma, for Christmas or my birthday. Pa, go ahead, bud. Take the big pearl and get it full this time. There's no sense in taking a trip for only half a bucket of air. Yeah. By the podiatric. I spilled it last time. Ma, another outburst. It's dark, Alfred. It's dark. Weeps as dreadfully. As dreadfully. Pa, go ahead, bud. Bud, strap down the helmets, will you, sis? Sis. First thing with a helmet. For goodness sake, stand up straight. Helmet secured, bud, from the, under the helmet. Okay, all right. I'll be back, right back. Ma, pa, don't hold the blankets open too long. Ma stops weeping. Both footsteps away, pa, smoothing. It's all right, Ethel. 
We'll be all safe. We'll bud, we all right back with another pull of air. It was all right. But no eight, I went through the thirty or so blankets that pile hang up so slow so down here escaping from the nest. Of course I knew the way. I've been going out there ever since I was a kid. Still I get a funny calling feeling every time I go out on the nest. You've got to go up the fifth floor, which is just above the blanket of frozen air. You see, when the earth got cold, all the water in the air froze first and made a blanket about ten feet thick or so. Then came on top of what dropped all of the crystals of frozen air, making other blankets sixty or seventy feet thick. I came out the window we used as fifth floor and started to scoop up the air into my pail. I had it about full. Boy, my fingers were getting pretty cold. I saw something. Fierce wind blows. Boy had exclaimed to himself, Hey, there's a light, damn it. I kicked over the bucket. It can't be a light. Not moving around in the window like that. It, it can't be. Ma, Pa and Sis were back in the nest. I'm up here. There can't be anyone else. Everybody on earth is dead except us. But, right, I had an idea. Ma must feel sometimes the way he sees things. There it was, moving around the field and across the way. I stood there shaking and almost froze my feet. I did, not, I did freeze, fro, fro, did frost my helmet so solid on the inside. I couldn't see anything. I hurried up, scooped up another pocket of air and headed back to the nest as fast as I could. But, ah, Pa, I saw something. Pa, go on, hang those outside clothes up in the, by the fire. But, how well, well, hanging up clothes. Whoa! I did. Pa, I saw something. I did. Ma, Pa. Shh. Your mother's quiet now. Don't upset her. But, Pa, it was a light. Pa, wait till I get this air next to the fire. Give me the cloth, sis. Grunts of effort. Pearl placed. Sis, shall I put another lamp of coal on, Pa? Pa, no, no. The oxygen from the bucket will get the fire up when it begins to melt. There. But, no, Pa, I'm think, trying to tell you. I saw something up there, light. Sis, there's lots of light stars. But I know what stars look like, Dopey. There's a big, steady white lights in the sky. About they're down, they're here in the building. Ma, what is it? What is it, Harold? Alfred, what is it? Pa, nothing, nothing, Ethel. Now, what is it, Bud? Bud, well, first I thought it was a lady, a young lady. Sis laughs, Bud. I meant it looked like like one of those old magazines. I thought I saw it in the window. When I but all I saw was the light. Pa, you watched it for some time, son. But long enough for it to pass five windows. Go up to the next floor, Pa. And it didn't look very like strange electricity. But no, Pa. I would know what I know what that looks like. Pa, or a star reflected from an icicle. Sometimes you catch it the right angle. It bud. Yeah, Pa, honestly, I never saw anything like it before. Pa, all right, I'll go out with you. You show me. Ma, oh, no, Alfred, you can't go and leave us alone. No, but not both of you. Pa, it's all right, we'll be right back. Sis, here's your helmet, Pa. Ma, paranoid raving. There, there's something out there. I always knew there's something out there willing to get us. But it ignores Ma. No, to sis. Give me, hand me gloves, Pa. Something that's part of the cold. Hates all warmth. Wants to destroy the nest. Been watching us all this time. Now it's coming after us. I'll get, it'll get you. Then it'll come for me. Oh, don't go, Alfred. Please don't go. Pa, everything will be all right. Now, sis, sis. Yes, Pa. Pa. You come watch the fire. Keep an eye on that air. Two, if it not, gets too low or down, doesn't seem to be building fast enough. Get another blank bucket behind the blanket. Ma, Alfie, don't go. Sis, I'll take care of it, Pa. Could there really be anyone out there? Pa, I don't see how. You heard the last radio voices a year before Bud was born. Haven't been anything since then. Sis, then could it be? Pa, I don't know. Probably just a reflection. Ice crystal cracking. Come on. Get your helmet on. Bud narrates, it's funny. When I go out alone, I'm not scared of anything. 
When I go out with Pa, always hang on to his belt like I used to when I was a little kid. Habit. I guess it's the same no matter what trip we take. On the fifth floor, we stopped to rest just before we went out. We were in the room with the furs and people. The lady sitting looking at the door, the man holding his hands over the funny metal thing. Pa calls away here. It was like a fire, I guess. We don't see any place for the cold. We put on our helmets together so we can talk. Pierce wind, fierce wind howls throughout the seat, lit throughout. Pa and Bud's voices are slightly muffled in their helmets. Pa, catch your breath, son. Bud, Pa, would it be possible? Would it be possible for me for any of these freedom people come to life? Like the old, old ones down the basement, around the face when we go for water. Pa, no, they're dead. They were caught too quickly when it happened. Pa, Bud. Oh, Pa, how do we know we're the only ones? Oh, we don't. But, well, there's a feeling you get, because it's really night. There's, there's used to be some, be, there used to be some of that feeling every night in the old days, but the sun chased it away every night and morning. You wouldn't know about that. You weren't born when the dark star pulled us away from the sun. You wouldn't know unless you'd seen the sun. But I've seen the sun. It's a big star at the end of the Big Dipper. I've seen it. Pa, isn't that say isn't the same? Come on, wasting time. Bad narrates. I didn't know what the city looked like in the old days, but it's now it's beautiful. The starlight lets you see it pretty well. On the hill, a plain slopes down away from us. Some taller buildings push up some of the feathery plain, topped by rounded caps of ice crystals. Some of them are slant on a slant. Come a lot, because a lot of buildings are barely twisted by the quakes and everything when the dark star pulled the earth away from the sun. That's why Pa can't sit up. The, it, it's so tight. The building's twisted too bad. Besides, we have to keep the chimney open. We touched our helmets together so we could talk. Fierce wind howls throughout. Pa voices, Pa and Bird's voices are slightly muffled. Pa, is that where you saw it, son? But, ah, it isn't, isn't there anymore. Pa, ha, ha. But, but it feels different. I mean, as if it's something mu- out there waiting. Pa, bud, if you see something like that again, don't tell the others. But, well, huh? Why not? Pa, well, you're ma sort of nervous these days. We are all the feeling of safety we can give her. Once it was when your sister was born, I ready to give up and die. You ever kept me trying. Another time she kept the fire going a whole week all by herself when I was sick. She, but she couldn't do that now. Not the way she is. Pa, but you know the game. But you know that game you sometimes play, tossing a ball around? Well, c- courage is like a ball. A person can only hold on, on so long when he's got to toss it to someone else. To someone else. When it's tossed away, toss you away, you've got to catch it and hold it tight. Hope there'll be someone else to toss it when you will get tired of being brave. But yeah, I guess so. Pa, come on. We'll fill up the pills and get back. But, but what happened? But what, what about what I have a, have a, ever it is out there here? Pa, we just have to wait and see. Come on, before the helmets froze, frost over. Wonder it. You're pretty hard to hide your feelings in the nest. I mean, there's just room for four of us. Blankets overhead just touches. When Pa stands up straight, the floor is still covered with thick woolly rugs. Pa says inside much bigger room. I've never seen of small walls or ceilings. Well, anyway, Pa laughed and kidded about my, what I've seen. He said I just had imagination, but he still he could would tell. He, we could tell he took it serious. It's Sunday morning by the clocks, and Pa kept all wound up, up on the shelf. So it's time for the story. We all sat around in a circle, 
away we always do, except I noticed that Paul Ketri took a hammer from the shelf and put it between beside him. I always like the story, of course. Sis and I know it by your heart, but now, well, now I mean, every Sunday, we were kids, but every once in a while, part surprises us, we're telling it a little different, throwing in some extras. Starts out with a song, Pa used to sing it, but she forgot the words sometimes. Now Pa sings it mostly, Pa. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, from amber waves of grain, thy beautiful mountain memories above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed her grace on thee, a crown thee good with brotherhood, from sea to shining bud. No eating, no eight startling above, fruited plain. Of the courage of words don't mean anything. I mean, the skies are spacious enough, but isn't any waves of grain and plains all covered with a blanket frozen air. It's a part of the story ceremony. And Pa likes it. He says it reminds him of the old days. Off the song, his Pa starts the story. Pa, C, speaks in the days of my youth, in the sun hung above a golden warmth. The earth is fruitful and multiplied. The fields are green and the days are glorious. The wind blew across the hillsteps and air was free and good to breathe. Bad rates, and that's the part of the story I liked the best. But how it was with the sun, nice and warm, it's hard to believe all those people living without, li- living without having to worry about cold and air, never walking, waking up sweating and screaming before you dreamed the fire went out. Possible to believe, but Pa has, was a good to- storyteller. He made it re- seem real, Pa. And then the dark star came rushing out of the space. In the beginning, they tried to keep the news from the people. When the floods and the earthquakes started, the truth came out. At first, they thought the dark star would hit the sun. They were afraid it would strike the earth itself, but it didn't. It only came close. But Pa tells how it liked the sun and the dark side fought for the earth like two dogs over a bone. I know what he means, because I've seen a picture of a dog in a magazine. Then the dark star won, carried us off. But the sun kept the moon. There were earthquakes and floods. Pa says the moon, mountains fell and oceans slopped over. Oceans, a lot of melted water, lying around loose. It's hard to explain, imagine, but Pa said it was so. There came the open question time in the story. She so asked a question about what girls wore for clothes. I asked Pa how people acted in those days when earth was twisted and jerked the bone was apart, Pa. Well, bud, I was too busy to notice much. A friend of mine, Dr. Wurzelbot, and Kelly the geophysicist, and Walter the astronomer, we knew what was going to happen. We were working to fix up a place with airtight walls and insulation, big supplies of water, blue food and water and air. But the place got smashed up in the earthquake and... They were all killed, so I put the nest together at the last minute in the living room of our apartment. It's a four-room apartment, but you must have seen some of the people, like the frozen ones downstairs, Pa. At that time, but I only thought of one thing, your mother, and survival. If I had stopped to think, I wouldn't even try to make the nest. Would you, it w- would have seemed ridiculous, blankets and a cold fire, just a cold and vacuum space. When you think I survived, but no, wait, I wasn't listening carefully as Pa went on about the building or the nest. I kept thinking about that something else, about the light I was seeing outside. I kept asking myself, what was if the frozen people were coming to life? What if they were like the liquid helium that crawls with, towards heat when it sh- should be frozen solid? What if something was coming from the dark star to let us? Get us something making the frozen people move, not by themselves. That would fit with what I had seen, a young lady's face moving light. I sat there and shivered, thinking of the frozen people with minds of the dark star, creeping, crawling, snuffing, shuffling, snuffling their way, following the heat of the nest. And then over from beyond the blankets, I thought I heard a tiny voice, Pa. So I asked myself then, what the use of going on? Why prolong the doomed resistance of hard work and the cold and loneliness? Humanity is done. The earth is done. Why not give up? I asked myself, bud. And then I did hear the noise. Loud this time, a kind of shuffling. 
tread coming closer. Pa, and then I will get got the answer. The Earth airways always been a lonely place. Millions of miles for the next planet. No matter how long the human race might have survived, the end would have come some night. These things didn't matter. Don't matter. What matters is life is good. It's a pretty, it's a lovely texture, like some rich cloth of fur, or the petals of flowers, crocuses, daffodils, or the fur is glow, and they are then as true for the last man as the first. But still there's steps kept stuffing closer. Pa was talking, Ma was feeling the eyes closed. Sis was looking at her, herself her sideways in the mirror. I was the only one who heard the noise, a noise outside Pa. So right then and then, there I told myself that I was going to do, going on as if we had always turned to the head of us, our children. I'd teach them all I could. I'd get them to read books, try to enlarge and seal the nest. I try to keep everything beautiful and alive. I get alive by feeling of wonder, even the cold and the dark and the distant stars. But Pa, Pa, shh. But Pa, I hear. Pa whispers, I know. Pa, Ma, alarmed. What is it, Alfred? I answer, what is it? What's going on? You've got, you've got to tell me, sis. Pa, I'm scared. Pa, low, quiet, bud. You heard it? Bud. Oh, yeah. Kind of shuffling. Coming towards the nest. Ma whimpers in dismay. Pa, sis, take care of your mother. Ma, it's all right, Ma. Lie down, come on. Pa, the bud, I take the hammer. You take the hatchet. Bud, what is it? What is it? Pa, I don't know. Listen. Bud, it's closer. Ma, low, terrified moan. Sis, Ma, shh. Bud whispers, Pa, the blanket's moving. Pa whispers, ready for your act with your axe. Man, muffled voice, hello? Ma suffered, stodded shriek. Man, who's there? Is there somebody in there? Pa, totally disbelief, come in, it's all right. Man enters amazed, woman, They're alive, alive. Woman, muffled by helmet, Pa, who are you? Pa. Halting for a moment, he can't remember his last name. Alfred, Alfred Hutchinson, Dr. Alfred Hutchinson. You can take off the helmets in here. Man confused, but the air. Pa, we have air. But we bring it in with, with the pals. Woman, come on, Ralph, let's take off our helmets. Having some fast and removed, their voices are no longer muffled. Man, it's impossible. Ma stammers, why are you from? We thought we were the only ones. Man, los amigos, amigos. Pa, the nuclear laboratory? Well then, well, yes, that's right. We got our power from the reactor using stockpiles, bombs for fuel. Pa realizes, ah, there are others that are. There are other men. There are other men. Pa, but pa, pa, it's all right. Should I put that? I'll put, should I put the X down? Pa, quickly, yes, yes, it's all right. You can put it down. Sis, you mean you come from another nest? Man, it's a little bigger than this. We've got a small one and tight, uh, tight city, no airlocks. One we dread away our electricity, food from hydrogenics. Pa, I don't believe it. I can't, I can't. Man, I can't believe this. It's possible you can't maintain an air supply. A hermetic ceiling is impossible. But um, no, no, it's simple. As long as you keep that fire going to melt the air, enough air boiling to keep the fire burning. Pa, how did you get to come here? Why? Man, well, we were scared, keep, keep scattering around for survivors. A number of colonies spoke with their haven, old region, Reed, Reed Highwell in England and Aragon, laboratory in France. We didn't expect to find anything in this city, though, but our detectives picked up a heat trace, so we tracked it down. Ma, Alfred, you're forgetting your manners. We have a company, and Pa, of course, of course, sis. Throw a handful of coal on the fire. Sis, surprise. A whole handful? Pa, doesn't, ma- doesn't matter now, bud. Bring out another pail of air. Man, why? It's incredible, Pa. You have a, and you have laboratories and transports? Woman, we only have a two-seated scout, but if we rip out the bulk of the storage department, we can make it all right. Man, we have your back and less, um, armus, 
and in four hours. Ma dismayed the grass woman. What's the matter, Pa? I guess we really didn't have a fall back that way, Ma. But I couldn't didn't know how to act there. And besides, I haven't any clothes, Pa. Duh, doesn't seem right to let the fire go out. It's been 18 years, burning every minute. Ma'am, but you can't stay here. Ma'am, and Ralph. But, oh, but after all, well, Ralph, Ralph. Man realized, oh, look, Dr. Anderson, we could go out of the ship and bring back a small power heater. I know this is just very sudden and upsetting to you. And you need a chance to adjust. Man, have me secured, man, through helmet. I'll be back in a few minutes, moving off the moment. It's incredible, it's buckets. And here in buckets. Pa taking it in the wall. Well, but they didn't think that the nest smelled so good. I could tell. Ma, quite impressed. She had a wave in her hair. Did you see that? And lipstick. Pa, I'd be at a loss. I suppose we had to decide what to do. Jess, numbers of Los Ambulus. Pa, Los Ambulus? Those other places, have other places. There'd be lots of people were up there. Pa, yes. Sis, I mean, but not just father or brother. Pa, that's right. Sis, the boys. Pa, I suppose so. But somehow I feel a little empty. Ma, she comes back to reality. Senses uneasiness. Alfred, Alfred is different now. We know others are alive. You don't have to feel the responsibility of keeping the human race going. But Pa, I'd like to see those rockets and laboratories. Wouldn't you, Pa? Pa, I suppose so, Bud. Wouldn't it be easy leaving the nest? I mean, it's just right and they full of us. It's kind of a scary idea. Big place with a lot of strangers, Ma. Vince, you know remember that feeling, son? Troubled our world was it kept getting smaller and smaller till it ended with just the nest. Now it would be good to have a real huge world again, the way it was in the beginning. But, and so we're going to leave the nest in the morning by Pa's clocks. We've got the power heater going now. Seems funny to be in this, what, this warm when it isn't Christmas or someone's birthday. It's still hard for me to realise that, that this is the last time I'll go out the nest for all the blankets to get a pair of air.